I am going to show you how to tune Gemini Pro in less than five minutes. If you're curious about LLM topics in general, you can check out my Gen AI guidebook. But let's jump into the fine tuning. We'll head over to AI Studio. We'll go ahead and select Gemini 1.0 Pro. Go down here. Let's say I want a recipe for eggs. We'll hit generate. And we'll give it a second for the model to perform inference. And here we go. We get a pretty standard recipe. It looks good, but let's say we want to make it more JSON and more Shakespearean. Here's an example of a tune model that I already cooked up. We'll go in here. Let's say again, I want a recipe for eggs. We'll hit run. And there we have it. We have a JSON recipe and it looks much more Shakespearean. So how can we do this ourselves? Well, first, you're going to want to collect a bunch of supervised fine tuning examples. I have a bunch here of various recipes for boiled eggs, cherry pie, corn of the cob, and such. I created this using a distillation method, which I will link below. You can see this in the guidebook. But since this is already prepared here, I'm going to go over. I'm going to click on new tuned model. I'll import that spreadsheet that you just saw. We'll go ahead, add it in. I'll make this my input column. I'll select this as my output column. And I'll say import 20 examples. I'll name this as YouTube distillation examples. I won't mess with any of the advanced settings here, but they're there if you need them. I'm just going to go ahead and hit tune. You see that the model appears here, and it's going to be in progress for tuning. And pretty rapidly, we get our lost epochs curve. Let's go ahead and use this in a freeform prompt. Give me a recipe for, let's say, pumpkin pie. It's not Thanksgiving yet, but I'm waiting for it. This looks pretty JSON y, a little bit Shakespeare y, not a ton. But as you can tell, it's a very different response that we would have gotten in the normal Gemini 1.0. So that's all there is to it, folks. You get all the power of a deployed, fully capable model with fine tuning. So you can make it work exactly the way you'd like for the use cases you need. If you're interested in more of this, I publish quite frequently in my Gen AI guidebook. And if you'd like to get updates when new articles are published, join the mailing list below.